So every home has their own main electrical panel, usually in the basement. This one's an Eden brand. When we open it up, it does look fairly full, but Caliber has a lot of different solutions to create more room in it at a fraction of a cost. Um, so what we typically do, we're gonna bring a main breaker off. Luckily, this panel, we do have some space available. Uh, we're gonna put a main 50 or 60 amp breaker in here, and we're gonna drill out, run under the deck at, at this customer's home, and uh, where we're gonna install an outdoor GFCI disconnect, uh, and then hardwire directly into the main uh, terminals of the hot tub. Typical installation on a uh, you know, suburban home is anywhere from two to four hours, uh, depending on what we need to do, if trenching is involved, if we're going underground or under uh, through a basement, through a deck, things like that. Um, hydro costs are really determined on a lot of factors. Um, you know, what time of the day you're using it, uh, if it's wintertime, summertime. Um, average cost, uh, it all depends on the kilowatt hours, which you could you know, revert back to your hydro bill on. Typically when we do the electrical installation, we ideally we want the customer home. That way we have full access to the basement, to the electrical panel that we're standing on right now. Um, and we also like to do a full uh, demonstration after we've done the electrical installation to show them what we've done, where the equipment is, just so they're fully aware of what, what we've installed in their home. Typically the only really time you're going to want to uh, have access to turn off the hot tub is if you're going to be cleaning it, draining it, taking the water out of it. You can turn it off from two different locations. One at the main panel, which the breaker will be marked hot tub on your main panel, as well as the outdoor disconnect uh, that holds the GFI breaker. It's a simple breaker just like this. It's an on or off. That's typically used when you want to maintenance the hot tub. So, you know, we, we work closely with Caliber and, um, you know, in the event that there was something to go wrong with this ball, uh, we've got a five-year parts and labor warranty um, on most of our models in the lineup and uh, we would either work, you know, directly with Caliber if it's something electrical related um, or if it's something hot tub related, you know, Jacuzzi Ontario, you know, we're going to send out a technician to diagnose and fix the problem on site. Obviously, you know, somewhat dependent on how cold the water is going in and what the outside um, elements are like at the time of delivery. But typically, if you've got a morning installation where crew comes in, puts the hot tub down, calibers on site to, to make that connect, we get it filled with water in the morning. Typically, you'll be enjoying the hot tub that evening. Um, if it's an afternoon or um, evening delivery um, and it gets filled that day, you'd be ready for use uh, the following day. This is the most important part. Uh, any licensed electrical contractor must pull an ESA permit. ESA stands for Electrical Safety Authority. It's a government agency that inspects all electrical contracting work, especially with hot tubs. Um, Caliber Electric will arrange the inspection for you as the customer. Um, usually, typ typically within a week, we'll have an inspector out here to physically look at our work to make sure we have done everything to Ontario Electrical Code. That way it ensures your guys' safety. The cost is already wrapped in the sale of the hot tub. Everything has been predetermined. 